All right, cool. Eli, did you get your headphones? Yes. All right, sweet. I realize now that my deck shuffle is very funny. <laughs> right, because all different size cards. It's all different sizes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, you got to do some heavy, heavy duty MTG shuffling. <laughs> it doesn't work. You have to like pile shuffle manually. This is gonna be real good. <laughs> all right. It's gonna be a blast. So, I'm just going to do some quick exposition, then we'll get started. Let's just get some technical cards in here. Oh, I can zoom in and out of the map. That's neat. Welcome to Kingshire. Kingshire Whoa. is essentially the drip pan of the multiverse. It's your basic fantasy plane, except at the bottom of everything, so whenever something gets cut loose from another plane, it just kind of drops until it ends up here. Huh. That's luckily, interesting. <laughs> luckily, the world itself is a pretty peaceful place. For now. Unfortunately <laughs> for it, there's a group of adventurers looking for quests. Ooh, yeah! Oh, boy. <laughs> who saw that coming? Yeah, where are the, who are those people? I don't know. Let's find out. Screw that, man. Anyway, so nice world you got there. It'd be a shame <laughs> if someone were to go adventuring in it. As most adventures start, it starts in a peaceful village with a group of uh, with a group of adventurers going to go kill some rats. <laughs> oh, yes. Every time. Oh man! Wait, did that just happen? <laughs> this is anime as fuck, dude. No, it's too real. Don't do that. My heart can't take that. Eli's having non flashbacks. <laughs> so the group of you walk into a tavern. It always starts in a tavern. As is unsurprising, um, for whatever reasons that each of you have, you are looking for work, either for money, glory, power, whatever it is that makes your character tick. Yeah. You decided that the best thing to do is create a adventuring party and go make a name for yourself. You walk into a tavern with a bustling crowd. What do you do? Um, so we all know each other now. Uh, actually, that's a good point. Everyone, introduce yourself. Eli, do you want to go first? I'll go first, because I'm kind of my face is like, just shows up furthest to the left. Yeah, you're the most important, clearly. Uh, main character. <laughs> I am Melchior, the king of games. <laughs> I am a wizard who's, play, who's lived over a thousand years and played every game. <laughs> and I've decided that as a wizard, spells are no good for me. <laughs> then said, I will chat and channel these games I have mastered over my thousand years as my own spells. Nice. And we got some uh, <laughs> good games here, like uh, the Full Metal Alchemist trading card game. There we go. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I'm amazed you have that. <laughs> I, I actually could not find all of them. I just picked two out of my basement and core from a corner. That's 2003 called, and they don't even want their game back. They're just <laughs> they amazed don't. someone has it. Oh, man. Wait, Brotherhood's coming? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never mind. We're good. <laughs> yeah, so instead of spells, I have trading cards as my uh, spells. That's awesome. Amazing. Are you going to be like Twisted Fate, though? Just end up throwing them at people and have Oh, no, yeah. That's my, that's my basic <laughs> attack. But <I> don't, nice. <laughs> let's not do that. I'm a wizard. I have spread them out nine. I'm a wizard. I'm mysterious. <laughs> All right, friends, who are you playing? I am Maz, the Coral Golem. <laughs> I'm a ballerina chef, and I really don't have uh, a backstory. I just kind of came into being one day, and then realizing I didn't have a master, I just kind of started wandering and ended up here. And you're made and of I, coral? Yeah, I'm a like rock man, but... Pink. Sick. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> and covered in like oceanographic iconography. <laughs> and and you're a chef too. That's and I'm a chef, so I'm in a chef's hat and a tutu. Fantastic. 
And I'm like nine feet tall. Whoa, all right. <laughs> well, I guess that makes you the most important. How do you get through the door? <laughs> I crouched. Okay. Coral Gold is seven ways. He's very nimble. All right. <laughs> I have very high dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <clears throat> I, I, I need to clear the voice for this. <laughs> I am Frog the Destroyer, and I come from parts unknown, and I'm here to seek my eternal vengeance in the Ring of Honor. <laughs> so how do you how do you spell that? Uh, that uh, is T H R O two Ks, please. <laughs> two Ks. I like okay. to please as part of it. Just two kids, please. I I may be a professional wrestler, but I am polite, and I, I you know, yeah, no genteel. sense. Of humor. <laughs> are, are you are, are you a throck? Your name's Throck. Are you orcish? I am half orc. Oh, sick. Rad. And uh, sorry, Mr. Oh, half 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 other side. Fred, I also forgot. Yes. I, I didn't get your character oh Maz Maz M A Z M A Z. Yeah, want to make sure I got everybody right. There, I'll change the journal to reflect it. Okay. So, so Throck Destroyer, also a wrestler. Are you going to conquer some worlds today? I, I might. <laughs> I'm down for some world conquering. Pretty sick. What, uh, what's, uh, this is D&D. What's your class? What are you, what are you playing? He's a wrestler. He's a wrestler. Is wrestling a class? What? Yes. No. no. Yes. Neither is the Marina chef. Hey, Pro you know wrestling. what? I used the barbarian build because you could. It had the least amount of armor. Sick. <laughs> and <laughs> and I just listen, figured, listen, and it didn't okay. have a specific attack name, so I could just go. Oh, so I'm just like, all right, I'll, I'll work this. Um, Maul was a weapon, and I was like, oh, that's like Triple H's sledgehammer. All right, this will work. This will all work. <laughs> I can work with this. <laughs> I just like to say some fun. cold, some sick drop kicks and <laughs> it'll be All right, yeah. Drew, who are you? Oh, uh, okay. So <laughs> I am also a wizard, um, and my name is the Lizard Wizard. Oh god. Um, so I am a bearded dragonborn. Um, uh, but a, who looks more like a chameleon? But you can't tell. You can't exactly tell. But he insists um, he's a bearded dragonborn. <laughs> he insists he's a wizard. If you tell him he's a lizard, he'll say, "Are are you like? How do you like? How can you not tell that I'm a wizard? Can you not see my robes?" Uh, and uh, also, as well, also uh, draped around his shoulders is his familiar uh, at all times, uh, Jasper the iguana. This is a very large black iguana, and uh, I'm and uh, I cast. I will be casting all of my lizard spells through my lizard familiar. This will be an interesting one. Um, oh, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and, so let me uh, just I'm, uh, double check. What was your name again, Drew? I'm the Lizard Wizard. Uh, first name, Lizard Man. Second, last name, Lizard Man. Occupation, Lizard Man. Lizard Wizard. <laughs> okay, lizard that, man, that works. Uh, lizard, lizard Man in all fields. <laughs> it's first name, Wizard. Last name, Wizard. That's it. Liz lizard Man, Wizard Man. It's yeah. very, it's it's very simple. simple. Easy, Easy to remember. remember. It's, uh, you can't forget it. Lizard man, wizard man, shortened to lizard wizard. <laughs> or man man. Lizard wizard man. That's it. What he's really feeling it. <laughs> as opposed to my as opposed to my lizard, who's a wizard who's a wizard lizard. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta keep those straight. Yeah, no no no. Anyway. It's not it's very important. At all. <laughs> so this um bizarre cluster of people. Who have somehow met this each other, but we're, not, I don't know what you're about. But, but we're not going to spend any time working out how you've all met each other. That's cool. Don't I, worry about it. Took a class with them in college. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sure. You all walk into a tavern. What do you do? Um, I buy a drink. Um, <laughs> I challenge that's, that's that talking. table over there to a game of poker. The people at the table or the table? I challenge the tap. No, I challenge the table. <laughs> All right, the table accepts. <laughs> oh man, we're off to a little bit later. You win. <laughs> Someone's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Well, um, okay. okay. Is something wrong? 
I mean, like, like, is what do we see? Like, what's the tavern like? Is it just this image here we're seeing? It, or? It's pretty much. You are probably some of those people there at the table with drinks. Okay. So it's, um, it's probably not quite this crowded, but this is uh, this is a pretty decent uh, description of it. There's also ignore the guy hiding behind the barrels because he is not there. All right. There's no gentleman hiding behind those barrels that are placed over there suspiciously. Yeah. Is uh, there? Is there a picture of a guy hiding behind barrels? You know what, sure. Yes, there is a picture of a, a guy okay. hiding behind barrels, but no actual guy hiding behind barrels. Okay. Yeah, you can tell, but you can tell where the barrels are. Um, that is where the painting was uh, painted. Yeah. There was a guy hiding behind those barrels, and he hid behind them for seven hours as the artist you know, toiled away. Uh, so clearly it was uh, a, po a point of significance for this relatively peaceful and boring town where nothing interesting ever happens, ever, ever. Nothing interesting, nothing at all. Nothing oh, whatsoever. Um, are, so, like, what about what about the patrons in the bar? What do we, what we um, got? Are they all just like generic, so, generic no, human no, no. number one? <laughs> now you'll see a, a few basic townsfolk, but then you also see a very upset-looking old lady and someone who appears to be in like regal garb. Who okay. is like not with a, a group? Most of the other people here are with groups. But, like, the old lady is here on her own, and the dude in regal garb is uh, not really paying attention to anybody else. So is he just kind of, like, fiddling around? Yeah. Okay. Fiddling, diddling. Fiddling, diddling. He, he's just got his own drink and is, like, staring off into the distance or whatever. Okay. <laughs> you know, as people in bars do. Is it, is it the stare of a man who has a basement full of rats? <laughs> Maybe. Hard to tell. Man, that seems, that seems more like the haggard old lady. But we're, we're not necessarily looking for rats, are we? I am looking. No, no, you're not. I think we're looking. For, I think we're looking for work, and we just we're conveniently definitely. find rats wherever we go. Uh, <laughs> Usually in the basement of a tavern. All right. Um, so, well, I guess so. We're we're some sort of guild um, now. We're like an adventuring party. We need sure. a name. Since you guys are the beginning of this this stream, do you want to name the uh, adventure? Oh, oh, this. Ooh, don't Come swear, on. Fred. Come Some on. Pressure. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Don't make it happen. What's the name that can ruin it for everyone for the next twenty-four <laughs> hours? Yeah, what's you the mean, worst name we can come up with? Oh, wait, worse than the Goon Platoon? I'm gonna. I I like that. I think that should be the name. Of wait, can we we can name Gloom? it the Goon Platoon. Yeah, Goon yeah, Platoon was awesome. Goon I don't think anyone would begrudge Goon Platoon, but if we want something awful, then no, we can't do <laughs> we can't do Goon Platoon. I don't know. We can be I mean, we can be like yeah. Goon Platoon Incorporated, or I don't know. <laughs> Goon it's gotta be. It's gotta like. It's gotta like have like a nice like, like something on top. It's gotta like. It's gotta be sexy. It's gotta sell. It's the gotta have some flair. Goon the two Goon Platoon Incorporated Ltd. <laughs> I refuse to wrestle for a weak guild. Fair. Goon Platoon, but all the O's have umlauts. Done. <laughs> oh, yes. Wait, no, no. If, if you wanted to do it with umlauts, it would just be G O N platoon. Uh, P L A T O N. No, no, no. We have two O's. No, no, no. It's two O's with umlauts. <laughs> yes. No, I'm fully aboard this. It's in bad. two words. Goon platoon. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it says on our business cards. Like we uh, we all we all have business cards. It's important. All right. I have. So, uh, who, whenever the new guys show up, make sure to issue them business cards. Ah, uh, indeed. Whoever's around, make sure that happens. Um, they're hirees, you know. That's, yeah, definitely. We're the founders of the Goon Platoon. Okay, so now that the Goon Platoon has entered the bar, facts are established. Um, all right. I so, walk over to the bar and ask if I can borrow their kitchen. Um, the bartender just looks you up and down for a moment. And goes, define borrow. <laughs> I am chef. I cook. <laughs> you like you like seafood? The bartender, who is a solid three feet shorter than you as a dwarf. <laughs> Probably more than that. Oh wait, are you seven or nine feet tall? He's nine, nine feet. Are right, then five feet shorter than you? It's like a whole person shorter than me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. Uh you do that. Boris! You see a big like a jacked guy, probably a Goliath, hard to tell. Um, to poke his head out of the, um, uh, out of the kitchen. It's like, yes! It's like, My, this guy wants to come back! Okay. And he goes back at the thing. So, I'm imagining that right when I walk into the kitchen, me and this dude have, like, um, 
Remember back to Full Metal Alchemist. Remember <laughs> um, what's his face and their teacher's what husband? Oh yeah, Sig. Sig. And Sig. Yeah, Sig. Yeah, Sig was my boy. That's what's happening. We're having like the muscle competition. <laughs> All right, good to know. They um, and they're, then we they're, start cooking. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're feeling it. You, you guys are going to make some nice dishes. All right. So, anyone actually in the bar? He's off doing that for like an hour. Yeah. I'm what are you guys up to? Sure. Um, well, I mean, I guess since we're looking for work, are they, like we are we looking for any like postings or like is there like a job board or As far as you've known, uh, those things are only in like towns that see a lot of trouble. Okay. For the for this type of place that you'd probably want to find someone with a problem and, you know, be the guy who solves it. Well, uh, since we're here for at least an hour, uh, I guess I'll st- uh, or we as a group or a start. Uh, why don't we? All right, I say to the group, uh, why don't we go? Why don't we? Uh, why don't we? You know, uh, shuffle around and start uh, start spreading the word, talking uh, uh, talking about uh, talking to all these patrons, seeing you know what's the news in this what's the news in this little town, um, kind of you know like schmooze and stuff. Wait, maybe gather some inform- uh, gather some information. So we're in, we're in New Guild, yeah. trying to find a quest. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, yeah. You know, generic beginning of adventure story. I uh, yeah. you got a large, I scan the crowd for jobbers. You know, weak guys I can beat up. I get a large piece of parchment. <laughs> All right, do you have rats that need killing? On it, <laughs> paste it against the wall. All right, that's uh, th- th- that's the thing of your character. He's genre savvy. I, I'm king of games. I've played all the games. <laughs> Including Dungeons and Dragons, and he's already played this adventure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, um, Parker, you do see a few weak guys, but they're mostly, like, minding their own business. <laughs> <laughs> they live for now. <laughs> <laughs> so it really depends whether you're a, a heel or a face. <laughs> but take some time to think that out. Anyway, so pretty much Eli is, or, um, Melik? What did you actually say your name was? Melchior. 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 M-E-L-C-H-I-O-R. All right. I will put that in for Melchior, King of Games. There we go. Um, pretty much as soon as you finish putting up that poster, um, <laughs> the old lady comes over and is like, are you exterminators? <laughs> of reality. No, ma'am, we're exploring it. I slide over. We can be. <laughs> goes, oh, no, I have a lot of rats in my basement. <laughs> like, uh, so many rats. Did you say rats? <laughs> the lizard wizard says, licking lips hungrily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I, I, was, I was in the uh, 15 to 20 rat range. But I guess I have this guy over here. Mr. <laughs> Man Man. Um, Maybe, maybe we can handle more than that. <laughs> um, she's just kind of like nervously backs away from the lizards. Like, ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Rats. <laughs> Lots I, of rats. I walk out of the kitchen with like seven plates stacked high with <laughs> delicious looking lobster and seafood. And Wait, I say, are you, are, you, are you cooking anime, the, the character? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I'm cooking mama. <laughs> <laughs> Best party ever. I come out and I'm like, rats? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. You all seem very enthusiastic about rats. <laughs> I don't understand. It's, it's my life calling secretly. <laughs> rats good eating. Not, rats as are... good, not as good as sunfish or whale or kraken. <laughs> but good <laughs> eating. Not, not that I'd know. <laughs> Yes. What? What more can you tell us about this delectable? I mean, uh, uh, b- uh, business venture. Yeah. Um. Well, I live outside of like over there, a few few buildings over. Lady, you got my basement. <laughs> what? Over there, and she just points to some random wall. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. A couple houses that way. Yeah. <laughs> That's a field. <laughs> That's uh, and, okay. Um, <laughs> there are lots of rats in my basement. Like a lot of rats. 
And yeah, I was you're looking. really, you're really like pushing it, man. <laughs> Yeah, you're 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 really selling us on this lot of rats business. Yeah, this this is, is a lot of rats. <laughs> if I was a smarter man, I would be suspicious. But I'm not. That seems like a lot of rats. That's just that's an Ooh. uncanny amount. Of, like, how many rats constitutes a lot of rats? I don't know. Exactly. Don't spend time counting the rats. <laughs> really? <laughs> I thought there were so many of them, I would like eventually get bored and say maybe I should count them. No, I just stay out of the basement. <laughs> How big is your basement? Uh, you have so many rats. Large basement, but like, can I feed? Surprising amount of rats. <laughs> <laughs> this is an issue. Yes, are your ceilings at least nine feet tall? So yes. Okay, we can do this. Ah, oh, excellent. Let's I go. can work with that. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> How convenient. How convenient. <laughs> um, Feeling is nine and a half inches tall. <laughs> nine. No, wait. Nine <laughs> and a half inch. <laughs> Perfect for Maz. <laughs> anyway, um, she eventually conveys to you in a voice that is much more old lady but is hurting my throat. Um, that she <laughs> that um she'll pay you some small amount of gold which isn't a whole lot but that um the king around here king steve is a friend of hers and maybe if you help her that she can help that she can like get you an audience with him or something give us That'd a good great. recommendation yeah, yeah. just hey, going to Throw this lady. question out there: If the old lady's such big friend, she's such a hot shot and friends with the king, why why don't she got a better house? It's a nice yeah, house. A it's just full of rats. <laughs> you can't feel like she should have been calling Steve. Why? Why no king help? You good friend. <clears throat> um, mostly because we don't really have an exterminator that can deal with that many rats. It's more of a wizard type problem. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. No worries. <laughs> Luckily, seems... we have two wizards. <laughs> Madam, both strange, not one, both but good. two of the finest wizards in all. What's the name of this kingdom? Kingshire. In all of Kingshire. Wow. So named because pretty much every shire has a king. There's a lot of kings. Potentially because we may be the only two wizards <laughs> in all of Kingshire. <laughs> but these two wizards. And our good friends will help will help you out. Indeed. Right. As long as I get the right body, I have it. All you is, I don't want them. Anyway, so um, you guys proceed to uh, the old lady's house. Doom, 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 doom. And uh, <laughs> it. it <laughs> It actually is a pretty nice house, like fairly large. Like it's still like a medieval house, but like it's nice for a medieval house. <laughs> and um, well, this this is this is no medieval manor we're talking about. No, no, it's not a manor. It's just a very nice house. Okay. Uh, classic clay and stone architecture. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like significantly above shack. <laughs> not 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 those those plebeian mud huts. <laughs> um. So you walk into the house, and then she's like, "Okay," and um, opens uh, a like a. Is there a word for a trap door that doesn't have trap in it? Like the thing that you pull up that has like a lot of yeah, yeah. Hatch. It's, opens it's a hatch, hatch, hatch that um leads to a ladder, and it's like whenever you guys are ready. Uh, before I descend <laughs> down, I pull out a microphone and start cutting a heel promo. All right. Would you like to do that, or should we just assume? Oh, I, I, I have some choice words. Gotcha. Is are, are the rats the heel, or are you the heel in this case? I am the heel insulting the rats and their mothers. All right. We're, we're taking this right back to the Attitude Era. I like this world where the rats are the face of the WWE. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So, Reds, 
You think you could just walk in and invade people's basements and eat their cheese? Well, let me tell you something, brother. This Sunday at the Mega Slam, I'm going to come down there and I'm going to show you what a real predator looks like. And then I'm going to go to WrestleMania. And then we're going to go to SummerSlam. And if you think for one minute, I'm let you get away. You got another thing coming. <laughs> Drop the mic and then I walk out of the room. Uh, I was then, for, like, remembering I haven't fought yet, walk back. <laughs> nice. Well, do we, need, do we need to wait for Sunday now? <laughs> oh, today's not Sunday? Yeah, is, is, when's oh. WrestleMania like <laughs> one? Uh, I, have, I have a sundial, right? Yeah, yeah. sure. We use sundials, it's, right? Yeah. Yeah. All the time of money. Sure, yes. something like that. Uh, okay, <laughs> um, it is conveniently Sunday. Sure, Sunday oh, it fantastic. is. All right, you know what? That's perfect. So that way you could say Sunday every time. All right. It's always so, Sunday. It's always it's Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> All right. Take a long rest. It's still Sunday. <laughs> So um, the group of you de- descend the ladder into the dank basement where... I love me my dank basements. <laughs> where you are met with a flurry of skittering sounds and squeaking as you see a veritable carpet of tiny rats. Essentially... Can, can we see them? How dark is it down here? Filling section, a section of the basement. It's got lanterns. Okay. Apparently this infestation hasn't been going on too long because the lanterns are still lit. Well, that's convenient. Yeah. Mm, just some fix um, this is a nice basement. Are numbers us? Yes. We just need to p- select one because I don't know what tokens to use for a ballerina chef. Do you have... <laughs> All right. Wait. So, so the... So there's only five of you, so I'm uh, four of you, so I'm going to hide number five here. I wish we can't make the stream overlord a character that's just standing there constantly. <laughs> <laughs> sure, he'll just be here in the corner. <laughs> the entire game is now an escort hey, mission. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> He's the narrator. All right. Press X to jump. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are you talking about, you crazy old man? Yeah, he's part of the map. Anyway, um, so which one of you wants to be number one? Isn't there an initiative thing we do? No, no I'm just I'm not. What order do no, you want? Yeah. Which, who uh, wants to be uh, the green right. number one token? I feel like I feel like that's me. All right, I yeah. will. I am. A, I am a wizard. I am the lizard wizard, so I have to know that wizards go in the back of the party all times. It's very important. All right. You don't just let your lizard. One is hang, you don't just let your lizard hang out there in the open. All right. One is the lizard wizard. Drew, try to move number one. Okay. Just move it back and forth to test that it works. Um, no go. All right. Hold on. To get the like is pass it, priority to me. Farm background. Oh wait, no. Hold on. Oh, it is part of the background. No, it's not part of the background. It's just I forgot that associating it in one direction doesn't associate it in the other direction. Don't Uh worry about it. All right. Um, Wait, hang on. All right. We're good to go. All right, who's number two? I'll be two. All right. There you go. Eli, uh, who is Eli? You're number three, I guess, because I unless you really want to be four. That's fine. We will be. Right. I'll change my color to yellow to make it and easier. And Parker, you'll be four. Dope. I keep having to uh, getting faked out by trying to type Parker and then having to switch it to token black guy. <laughs> <laughs> I took this uh, username specifically just to make people feel uncomfortable. Because <laughs> I was like, I play a lot of games with people online. And what are the odds I'm going to be the only black guy? It's pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone move their thing just to make sure that they can move. Oh, we can't add the names of these. Uh, oh. How does one move token? Maybe you click on it. Click, click, click and drag. drag. I don't even see my token. It's all the way to the far number right. Four. All the way to the far right? Yeah. 
Past the uh, I see it. Okay. Are you like super zoomed in? No, he's I just... am. I am slightly zoomed in, and I was all the way to the left. Yeah. Gotcha. No. When I, when, I, when I logged in, I was. Uh, or when the page opened, I was all to the left. I couldn't see anything. Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> all right. Um. So now that everyone has established what number they are, I guess. Um, let's roll initiative. So, just to keep things convenient, I'm gonna roll the group of the rats as one thing on the turn order. Okay. Um, does everyone remember how to roll initiative? Yep. Okay, cool. Did I'm it, assuming it, it did it change from rolling a d20 and then... It's the same thing as always, just add your dexterity modifier. Yep, nice. fantastic. And 1d20 plus... What is my initiative? It's two. Awesome. Boom. Nice. The rats have a dexterity of plus zero. Nice. Value. Oh, man. I got to go before the rats. These are like some speedy rats. I'm uncomfortable about this. Well, I mean, they're, they're just... rats. They fear no rats. <laughs> Five plus three. Eight. All right, let's, um, I got eight. Yeah, Fred, if it helps, you can you can type in the pluses. Oh, and look at that. Uh, whenever you roll, so just like for the like for the next time, you're good to go. Okay, yeah. All right, I'm setting up the turn order. Yeah, so. Oh man, I get to go first. Wow. Uh, oh, also, if you guys want to name yourselves, you can click on the, uh, you click on your thing, and then you click the gear or settings. You can just type in your name. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. You had an eight total. Yeah, I did right. have an eight total. And then Parker, you had an eight, and Eli, you had a tw eleven. Yay. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, train of thought. Uh, Maz and Throck roll another initiative just to settle it between the two of you. I never actually put some of these Buffy the Vampire Slayer cards in just now. All right, so you'll notice that you put a space between 1 and D20, so you just rolled the number 1. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, okay. I, think Parker, I think Parker wins for doing it right. This, this is part of the morning shift. <laughs> there you go. Parker still wins. Parker still wins. Still wins. Right. Fates on his side. All right, Lizard Wizard, let's, uh, let's kick this off. All right. Um... Oh, why are you a snail? Huh? Oh, it was just the... I, I, I like the, the symbol. Alright, fair. Enjoy. I like the symbol. There was, no, there was no wizard symbol. <laughs> the, the satire uh, face speaks to me. <laughs> Alright. Um, so there's... One, two, three, four, five... Six. Well, we can't see these rats over here, can we? On the, uh, in the back. No, you, you can see everything there. The, the stuff isn't too... Uh... Dark. Okay. Are they, can we move over these boxes, or are they are they like actual? Terrain um, you should try to avoid them, but like. Okay. So, they're, so they're so they're actual terrain. Okay. They're Got difficult it. terrain. Yeah. Okay. That was um, a challenge. Now the only thing I have to remember is spell ranges sixty feet. So each of these is five feet. So one, two. Three, just anyone in the basement do it. Yeah, pretty much. Um, okay. So. All right. So that seems good. Um. I guess I'll do what wizards do. <coughs> and, uh, march on over here, so I can get like a clear line of uh, sight to these to the first rat cloud over there <laughs> uh, by the boxes. The rat cloud. And uh, so, uh, so lizard wizard uh, walks over. He takes um, he takes his iguana, uh, Jasper, um, down from his shoulders. 
Um, he holds him kind of like a rifle. <laughs> And you, um, and and he like it, it, it's like, it's not like he's cocking a gun, but it's like he like he like he like he like tickles like the beard of the iguana. The iguana's mouth opens, and you see, you see like a burst of red light, and it shoots a firebolt out of the lizard. <laughs> um, All right, so make your spell attack. All right, so I am using firebolt, which is a super unique cantrip. Um, the stack of firebolt really quick. Or I think I have it. Uh, no. Oh, right. No, I just roll spell attack. That's right. Okay. So I roll d20 plus my spell attack bonus, which is five, right? Yes. Okay. 1d20. <laughs> d20. Not, two, not 220. Plus five. I got a six. All that right. Um, that's going to miss. Uh, also, yep. that, that, that was a, a one, so we get to establish a mechanic of oh a boy. critical fumble. Oh boy. Crit fail! Did you just not catch your football? Is it on the ground now? <laughs> Is it, was it incomplete? Alright, so you number one, right? Yeah, right, I'm cool. interception. <laughs> so, um, you're a little, like, rusty on this whole using your lizard as a gun thing, and uh, when, when you <laughs> scratched it's, uh, <laughs> well, when you scratched it's, like, it's kind of, like, cocked its head back. And it didn't turn all the way around, but it did hit those barrels over uh, here. Oh, snap. And um, so those are on, f on uh, fire, and you, you on a quick ex uh, look into it, you see that it's some form of uh, gray and alcohol. Ooh. Oh. So uh, you should make a dexterity save as that explodes. Why is the rum always gone? Um, all right. <laughs> That's not the problem here. <laughs> okay, so dex save. So do I just roll and add my dex? You should have a saves section, but yeah, probably. Uh, I don't... A save section? I don't think like, I have one. Uh, I think it's listed next to your skills. My, sheet, my character sheet is weird. Alright, well then, maybe not. Alright, oh, you um, gave him the um, non-standard. You gave me the non-standard one. My bad. Uh, it's okay. Uh, is there like a way to calculate deck save? Sure, it's just your dex, unless you're proficient in it, which you shouldn't be, because you're a wizard. I'm not. It's, your dex, it's your dex mod. Oh, okay, that's fine. So yeah. then I just roll 1d20. Yeah. Plus 2. Okay. Yep. Oh, sorry. R 1d20 plus 2. I got a 10. Okay, that um is not going to be enough to save against the explosion. I did not think so. Uh, so you stay where you are and are going to take uh, 1d8 plus 2. So 5 damage. It's fire damage if you have resistance or whatever. I do not. I have resistance to bludgeoning. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Alright. I, so, I had to think um, of... My breath weapon is, is, is uh, like my chameleon tongue, so... It does bludgeoning damage. So. No, it does bludgeoning damage, so I'm, I, I, that means I have... Dragon Heritage bl uh, bludgeoning, so <laughs> we're good to go. All right. Um, so the swarms are essentially going to uh, attempt to live up to their name. Luckily for you, Drew, they are afraid of the fire, so they're going to try to swarm everyone else. I knew my, I knew my plan would work. <laughs> All I had to do was like chunk oh, like a part of my health. <laughs> Wait, they can only get, like, here. So they're gonna just... I was gonna say, these rats are moving like bastards. <laughs> they are really quick. They are really fast. I also didn't realize we had dragon so quickly. Uh, they're just horrifying demon rats. Like, mm. they're not actually demons, but they're just, like, relentlessly Scary aggressive. Scary, feral rats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just took fire damage. I'm not on fire, right? No, you're not burning. It's just oh, okay. there was an Good. explosion. You got hit, and now there's a burning thing next to you. Okay. Yeah. Well, if XCOM has taught me anything, you're going to want to move. Yeah, unless you step back into the fire, you're probably fine. But you probably do want to, like, you know, take a step or two away. All right. Um. So let's go with number three. That's Eli, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, he's going to try to... They're going to try to bite your heels. Bad rats, no. 
Don't do this. There's a 12 hit your AC. My AC is just my 10 plus my uh, dex, isn't it? it? No, it's... It, you, this shouldn't be able to hit you. It's 12 plus your dex. Oh, great. I am invincible to rats. All right. Nice. They, uh... Cloth they're, armor, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're nibbling your boots, but you have pretty thick boots, so whatever. <laughs> All right, King of Games. You're up. Let's see what we have to work with today. Oh. Come oh. on, back Let's in see. it. Well, I'm not casting my hand right now. I'm just going to flip off the top card of my deck, and we'll see what we cast. We cast Multiply. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, okay, oh. yeah, sure. We can work with that. Um, pick two squares within... Like three squares from you, so like just select two. You know, here I'll I'll I'll, I'll pick, pick the wrestler. Can I have like five wrestlers? That's what I was uh, gonna suggest. It, it, it's, it's yourself on this one. Oh dang Damn it! Whatever. Because <laughs> I could have had my own tag team. <laughs> oh man, that was so good. Actually, yeah, sure. You can pick the wrestler. Yes. I expect I expect the greatest uh, three man suplex in the universe. <laughs> it's gonna be like the one when the shield reunited, except we're all just the same person. Triple okay. power bombs for everybody. So, um, Barack, you can move all three of those, but they need to be start within three spaces of your original space. Okay. That's kind of that's. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're not permanent. It's um, essentially until... Probably no, no, shadow it's until... Movie, right? <laughs> it's a shadow clone, until they get hit. Amazing. Yeah. That's fair. Then question, if I use one of them to do like a running elbow drop and it hits the floor, does it disappear? Yes, if you miss. Okay. Because if you land on the rats, you have a rat cushion. But like, if, if you hit some concrete, that's probably enough to poof them. This is how I jump kick to here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. All right, Slock, so, it's your turn right now, though. So, uh, okay. Enjoy your go giant on. cluster. Go suplex the rats. Oh, and by the way, it is assumed that the real one of you is whichever one disappears last. So, the, the first two people to take damage disappear, and then the third one was you okay. the whole time. <laughs> it was me, Austin. It was me all along. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, I can move. Uh, I'm going to go try to RKO this pile of rats. <laughs> <laughs> that was a statement. Out of, out of just nowhere. No preamble to this. Just we're... Charging just some Throck. down. Yeah, this is Throck, somewhere we've never seen him before. <laughs> <coughs> In a brand new ring. <laughs> The ring of life. But I'm also... Uh, 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 because I can. <laughs> uh, Let's get I'm going right to try to RKO him with my sledgehammer. Because well, how, we're fancy what does that here. Even mean? Don't worry about it. It means I'll, I will basically use my sledgehammer, Wait, are you RKO scoop RKO? all the rats up, and then, you know, just like jump onto a table with all the rats. You, you know what? I'm okay with this. There is a table directly behind you, too. Yeah. Perfect. Got to break the announcer table. I genuinely thought right. you RKO the, the hammer into the rats. <laughs> that, <laughs> that would work too. That will be next. Okay. Yes. So, That's um, step two. <laughs> let, let's roll a basic attack against the rats to make sure you can scoop them. Yeah. Uh, that's plus my strength modifier, right? It's plus your strength plus your proficiency bonus, which I think at this level is plus two. Can you all confirm that for me? Yeah. Yeah, that's two. Okay, cool. So... Should I just add them both together when I do the plus, or should I just do plus my bonus and then plus again? You just the total. It doesn't really matter. Okay. <laughs> as long as you're putting in the right numbers, it doesn't matter what order you do them. Okay. All right, that'll do. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna move them over here. Yep. Because obviously you don't pick up the whole swarm, but you do pick up enough of them to make the rest follow. 
stupid rats. You just have this coiling mass of rats on the end of a sledgehammer. (laughs) Standing on a table, shouting about Uh, RKOs. So so let's just go with basic attack damage on this, because this wasn't too fancy. No. Uh, So that's, what, 1d6 or 8? Let me... Because the mall is... Actually, uh, that's a lie. I used a Warhammer. Because Warhammer is mall air. Uh, it's 1d8. Okay. Uh, Alright. And then... What's the bonus? Uh, Plus your strength. Okay. Bitchin'. Uh... You need a slash roll in front of that or slash R. That's... <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> that was for the crowd at home. It's showing the stream you know. You mean business. I do mean business. Ha ha! Take that eight damage. All right, eight damage. Boom. And all, and you can hear faintly in the distance the sound of an old man going, "Good God Almighty! <laughs> He's broken the table." You don't know where it came from. Across right. time, <laughs> the voice of Jr. just says, "Good God Almighty!" <laughs> all right, um, Maz, your go. I, oh uh, no, sorry, Parker, you have two more clones. Yeah, that's you have two more clones. So RKO many clones. Oh, uh, did you want to just chain together RKOs? Just keep like trying to toss that thing farther along. Yes. Okay. You could also toss it over to Maz in his frying pan. <laughs> which we'll do is that con- the last one. Yeah. Which is if conveniently you, close to a newly made fire. If you line up like that, you <laughs> could toss it along and have it end up next to Maz. We're gonna do that. So do All I right. just roll for each one now? Yeah. Make your next attack. Yeah, I'm so I'm so ready. Attack or um, hit roll? Okay, the hit roll is the attack name. The other one's damage. It's attack and damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. I see where you're going with this. Hit two times. I'm I'm starting to I'm starting to see why Maz and uh, the Lizard Wizard would be friends. (laughs) The only the only chef that the Lizard Wizard ever knew that is willing to cook rats. (laughs) Seventeen hit. Not so only will he uses it as a fighting tactic. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. And then we're gonna feast. Can you feast? Can you taste the food that you make? That's racist, true. Just because he's oh, rock doesn't mean he doesn't have feelings. Oh. <laughs> but he, he, my he heart is cold. Still cold, but that does not mean my heart. Is so cold. we got uh, <laughs> an extra nine damage. All right. And um, then, then suplex that. Uh, then roll your next suplex or RKO or whatever this is. Roll to suplex. <laughs> <laughs> Please uh, roll to suplex. Uh, it's really sh- hard to sh- miss these, I'm realizing. <laughs> Plus, I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm really really hard. Hard. 14. All right. Yeah, that, that, that'll do it. All right, so roll, roll the last damage. What'd you say? It, those rest are just going. Yeah. <laughs> They're going on a magical journey. Are there? Are those rats behind us? Are they dead? Yes. Okay. No, no, they're alive. The, the, they, those were the ones that went, went and made an attack. Okay. Yeah. Nibble my boots. Bad rats. D plus. Uh, da, 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 da. Four. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. The 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 rat swarm. It it seems like there's not a whole lot of rats left in the swarm. It's just like <laughs> a handful. <laughs> But they're not looking so hot either. <laughs> yeah. And then right. while I wait for my next turn, I'm just going to be in various poses. Nice. <laughs> All right, Maz, you go. So I have um, a skillet full of reasonably intact rats, correct? Yep. All right. So I mosey on over here. Wait, is this too, <laughs> is this too into the fire? Um, I, I feel like you have a little, not like real resistance, but a little bit of resistance to heat. So yeah, you can go into the fire. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and can, could you do me a solid and move the rats over there with me? Cause I'm carrying them with me. Sure. Let me, let me just bring it to the front so it can, uh, be over the fire. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm standing there like just, you know, 
fucking with the rats, flipping them around. Uh, so you are attempting to burn the rats to death. I am attempting to lightly sear the rats, to but death. not too much to keep in the juices. All right. Um, it'll <laughs> they'll try to make a Constitution save. Nice one d twenty minus one. Yeah, they're gonna fail. They're gonna die. Yeah, and we get cooked rat. Is anybody injured? Does anyone want a snack? Uh, I would love a snack. <laughs> all right, yeah. So, so you get a um, a dose of cooked rat. So you all. So you a had dose? your. Well, I mean, okay. He he. I'm just measuring a serving. Okay. Um, because you, you you start with three snacks. This will be your fourth snack. Excellent. Yeah, nice. and it it may have other properties depending on. I mean, I'm a lizard. I eat rats. Let's get this. <laughs> Lizard Wizard immediately gobbles it up. Without a, right. without a second thought, he licks his lips and just, like, gulps the whole thing right. down. So, so that'll be your bonus action to consume, to uh, ha to hand him the rat, and yeah. he'll take his bonus action to eat the rat. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Normally, it would take an action to, like, toss your snack to whoever, but since you're adjacent, I'm fine with it. Um, so, yeah. Lizard Wizard. Um... You feel a surge of magical energy w upon consuming the the rat. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, ro roll a d percent, please. Uh, sure. Congrat, good eating. I say. <laughs> Forty-eight. All right, hold on. Oh man, I was just expecting to you know have a delicious snack. This is this is this is exciting. All right, so delicious rats, and nutritious. Yeah, but the magic rats. All right, so um, all the nutrients growing lizard need. <laughs> you, you can thank my donors for this because uh, we hit a certain threshold, which made me um, make a uh, table of random superpowers. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and as a nod to some of my previous campaigns, um, consuming cooked or frozen rats may give you temporary superpowers. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and what you have right yeah, now yeah. is you've temporarily gained the ability to magnetize wood. Uh, okay. Your wood needle. Can you make it magnetized to rats? Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. But that's not how magnets work. <laughs> but I can, oh, yeah. So I can mean. make these so tables mean. slam together. Wait a minute. Brilliant. <laughs> a plan's coming together. <laughs> no, no, no. We can make this work. There's a wrestling technique here. We just have to find it. Okay. Uh, I will write that down. I have uh, wood magnetism. Oh, Matt, I just saw that you put something in the chat. Um, I'm not necessarily looking at the chat 100% of the time, and also you're on a 20 second delay, so I won't necessarily see it in time to actually make it part of whatever's going on. But if if we ask something, definitely you can chime in. Alright. Sorry. That was to one of the viewers. Um, where were, what were we up to? Uh, I have the ability to magnetize rat. To magnetize wood. Okay, it is your turn currently still, because that was just your bonus action. Oh, wait, what? Just a bonus you, action. You ate your rat as a bonus action. You can actually take your action now since it's your turn. It is my turn? Oh, right, because yeah. Maz went. Oh, sick. Um, yeah, that's why the turn order is up there. I guess I could magnetize the, those boxes and crush that rat swarm, because it's in the middle of those boxes. That seems like something I should do, because I have superpowers. And it's only temporary, so I might as well use them. Yeah, go for it. Um, go for already. Uh, no, well, hey, all right. So, am I? Do I have the magnetic powers? <coughs> what? Oh wait, no. They're they're my superpowers, right? Yeah, you're the one who ate the rat. <laughs> True. Okay. So as uh, so. All right. So I place I place the uh, I place uh, Jasper on my head. Um, nice helmet. He uh, he kind of like sits there on top of my wizard hat, uh, which crumples. Um. Oh, and arcs down to make the little thing around your face. <laughs> <laughs> um, he oh, Jasper opens his mouth and goes like, eh, whatever, whatever little iguana sounds uh, sound like, and then gerbils mostly. I I raise my hands and do like little finger motions and 
make the wood uh, magnetize the. Do I, I can do this at a range, right? Yeah. Okay. I magnetize these wooden boxes and crush the rats in between them. Crush okay. them. Um, they have to make a dexterity save at plus zero. What is your spell casting save? Uh, my spell save DC. Off of seven will not make it. Ah. <laughs> um, so they're going to be like crushed and pounded between between the boxes. Let's say that's two d eight damage since they're a swarm. So they're probably not, some of them will get out. All right, they'll take seven damage. Oh, you rolled it. Okay. Yeah. All right, not bad, not bad. Um, should I be moving away from this fire? Your call. Um, no. I have fire fun. under control. Good heat <laughs> right now. This is fair. I, I trust, right. I, I trust the words of the giant golem. Um, <laughs> Good chef, no problem. I might shift like I might shift, I'm gonna shift like one space away. Just just in, just to make sure that like No flying grease. <laughs> no flying like grease or debris or Definitely. Not a bad plan. Um, okay, so now rats go. Uh, first, the one behind uh, King Games is going to attempt, game. to attempt to bite him. Boot nibble again. Should we just change my, my character into Cog? K-O-G. K-O-G? Okay. K-O-G. Um, just Cog, King of Games. Just Cog. I don't think it's the League of Legends reference, I'll say no. Alright, does 12 hit your AC? Well, it does not hit my AC. Alright, these rats are terrible. Alright, uh, this group of rats is just going to spend its turn getting out, like, reshaping itself, getting out of the boxes. Um, and then these are going to attempt to swarm over the wrestler. So, one, two, three, Which one? Four. Five, That's the question. One. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so you're, they're each going to take an attack. All right. <coughs> I'm just going to roll the three dice, and they're each plus two. Nine, four, and seven. So... The highest one is an 11. Does an 11 hit your armor class? No. All right, they ain't doing much. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. They're also nibbling at your boots somewhat ineffectively. Cog, how you doing? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm like, upset. There are a bunch of rats trying oh, they're ruining to ruin my, my boots. shoes. Yeah, no, exactly that. <laughs> I paid quality money for these boobs. My goodness. Fuck off of me. <laughs> um, I will put the card off my deck because I don't think anyone's hurt or anything like that. Right? I'm hurt. I've taken no, I don't care about you. No, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I will cast um, actual Vitana. <laughs> <laughs> What's All it called? Right. Vitata, the card Vitata. <laughs> <laughs> the irony. That's oh, hilarious. my camera's like pretty good. This nice. R a t t a t a, right? R a t t a t a. Level ten from Diamond. I don't know what this set is. Don't ask me. Let, let, let's see if I can get one that doesn't have a background. This one. This one <laughs> <has>. <laughs> All right. Perfect. <laughs> Where do you oh, want to summon it? And anywhere within four spaces of you. Uh, there is, uh, there is good. Actually, no. Put All right. It, put it I'm, I'm going to give me. you, I'm going to give you control of it. And the entire party looks at, looks at Kyle in disgust. <laughs> no, no, this is the top one percent. <laughs> <laughs> it is the top percent of rats. This is like significantly larger than any of the other rats here. What does it know, Hyperfang? It knows bite and tail whip. <laughs> oh, so no endeavor and focus slash? Get out of here. Man, it, it's a rat attack. Worst rat. Worst rat. Zero out of ten. <laughs> All right. It's it's obviously not in the top tier of rat attack then. 
All right, Thor's Throck. Feeling is, he's, he's just he, he's just a young boy. You're up, Throck. All right, so we got this pile of rats. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm thinking we might want to do like a triple power bomb here. Try attack. <laughs> I might do no, uh, not enough order. tables for me to get up on so I can body slam. That's <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Okay. You could use yourself to body slam off yourself onto the rats. Ooh. Um. Here's what I'm thinking. All right. Is one it, of the. Isn't there a table right behind you? There's a table for two of them, but not for one of them. All right. Also, this one here is broken. Also, um, you put it through. So I'll, I'll put a quick notification to make sure that it is clear that is a broken okay i got it so table. this one the one near the table that's not broken is going to go for a body slam all right uh see so yeah, that one so I, I will climb up on the table and then body slam all right so that's uh roll an acrobatics check uh okay. That'll, 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 or athletics if that's better for you. Actually hold on. I think I'm trained I'm trained in athletics. Okay, so yeah, make an athletics check instead of an attack. Okay. So do I still roll a D twenty for that? Yeah, and add your athletics check. Athletics bonus. John C uh, that's from uh <laughs> dexterity, right? That falls under yeah. dexterity. Uh, John Cena, no. Dun, 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 dun. My brother's watching the Scooby Doo WWE mystery. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good thing. choice. So that, that's really like coincidental. This is this is actually I I'm look I look forward to seeing this not work. Uh, Eleven. All right. Um, that. Where's this armor class? He's actually gonna hit. All right. So um, we're on the top rope. Oh All right. What race are you? Are you um a large race or a medium race? Medium. He's half orc. He's half orc. All right. So uh, roll, medium. roll. Let's say two d six. Okay. Do I add anything? One. As you asked. <laughs> Thank you. I can respect that. Uh, it's uh, um, seven. Okay. You do seven damage to it, and you are somewhat uncomfortable because you are now lying in a swarming pile of rats. <laughs> That's, you know, these are the sacrifices I have to make. All right, Maz, your go. Okay, um, I'm going to... Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry. Parker has two more copies. Oh, I, yeah. I do. We always I forget. Do. Be, it'll be quick, because for the other two, I'm just going to go with the classic people's elbow. All right. Just roll so, a basic attack then. Okay. The uh, people's elbow. The people's elbow. The rock finisher. AKA the hammer and sickle. <laughs> AKA the hammer and sickle. AKA the most entertaining move in sports entertainment history. <laughs> uh, uh this one D six. the pain. Fourteen. All right. Uh, that'll hit. And then again, um, don't bother yeah. the damage yet. Just roll, roll the... Right, I was going to say, let me just... Yeah. I'll just roll the... Uh... Uh, I want to bring my Masuyo of WWE. Nice. Yeah. Wait. All right, so both wrestlers simultaneously pull off their armband, th swing it around their heads, and then throw it before running, running, stopping... And then dropping on their elbow. Nice. Because the move is horrifically impractical. All right. <laughs> Roll the damage. 
uh, horrifically impractical. It is. Atro- it's actually atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a move you need acting school for. <laughs> It's actually worse <laughs> if you see it in the arena because the rock will like run from one side of the arena to the other, then stop, then drop, and you're just like, "Why? <laughs> that's so, that's so silly. Why you do this?" Well, uh, there you ten go. for the first um, uh, one. Good. Move you just so I can get at the rats under you. Uh, and. Hey! Nice. That's pretty good. 11 on the other one. Putting in some work. <laughs> I would try for the rock bottom, but I don't think my hands are big enough to scoop up all the orcs for a choke slam. Or right. rather, you're a rat for a choke slam. <laughs> you're probably right on that one. It just doesn't seem practical. All Why right, can't guys. I hold all these rats? <laughs> Your dumbass. Okay, so I'm gonna mosey on over here, and I'm gonna just kind of try and like Princess Peach in Super Smash Brothers, kind of golf swing with the frying pan that I have. Oh, All right. Where you got the, the rear attack? I I was expecting the butt slam, but okay, that's cool. I mean, he's the ballerina. He can pull it off. Are, I'm a ballerina. That's true. Both are good. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the uh, the go- the golf swing. All right, where, where what direction are you trying to toss him? Just straight back into the into the crates. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. All like right, pile of crates right there. All right, uh, just roll a basic attack then. Nice. Okay. Savage. Wait, that, that's your damage. You're sp- roll, roll the hit first. Oh, um, that is... 1d20 plus whatever. Okay, right. mod. Plus whatever proficiency. Your, whatever Should be five. Oh, are we still at proficiency? Yeah, I guess we are. Okay. Yes, yeah, so proficiency for the going. attack. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. I didn't do it. <laughs> you need the slash. So close. You did. So, you were so close. <laughs> God. And put a it's space a... between roll. Uh. Go to roll for you. There we go. Yeah. Nice. All right, that's plenty. Um. So <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a. Uh, uh, I was going to say this anyway, so you could choose to re-roll or, or keep your five. Um, roll damage, but don't add your modifier because you're using what would normally be more damage to toss them into the thing. Right. So either either take a five or roll 1d8, your choice. I'll take the five. Okay. So they get tossed back into the crates. And this, this swarm is bloodied. Dunk. <laughs> Alright. Um, Wizard Wizard, you go. Alright. Um, the rats are still in... The, oh, wow, the rats are back in the crates. Yep. Uh, I think great. you might have set that up for you. Uh, could, team yeah. Work. yeah. Makes the team. dream work. Tag team. Tag team. Let's do it. Um, yeah, no, no, no. Wizard okay. Wizard, Coral Golem, tag team. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna move... I guess over here. I feel like tag team might be like the, the key phrase of the day. <laughs> Back team? Hey, Back I just like teamwork, okay? It's good. All right. Um so I still can magnetize wood. Uh, yeah, you just magnetize a whole bunch of boxes, try to collapse the pile back in on itself. Okay. Um I pick up my lizard and I hold it out towards the magnet uh, um to, uh, towards the wood. Whether or not I need to do this is questionable. You see you see me use it, you see me use my hands, you see me use the lizard. I'm just going to hold the lizard. Right. Um, the uh, the lizard the lizard kind of glows, and all and all of the boxes uh, surrounding these rats kind of like collapse in, slam like slam with like uh, the, this this is more forceful. Nice. Than the last time. It's like really right. like get in there. All right, roll your spell attack. 
Yeah. Got him. Nice. All right. Um, what did we say the damage was last time? 2d8? 2d8. Do you want me to roll that? Yeah, okay. sure. Okay. 2d8. Seven damage. Yeah. Nice. Seems like it was exactly as forceful as the last time. <laughs> Damn. There were more boxes this time, too. That's extremely consistent. Like, uncomfortably so. <laughs> Lizard Wizard puts out reliable damage. <laughs> All right. Rats That's why first. we hired him. That's why we let him come with us. All right. The, the, the few remaining rats are trying to just <laughs> help, helplessly scatter out of the boxes <laughs> because this is the second time they've been attacked by wood. <laughs> Why is this wood moving like this? <laughs> this oh, you know, actually, they're they're going to stay wood. in the wood, and they're going to try to attack the wood. They successfully disassemble a box, but they don't really understand that it's not magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do they do they neatly stack it like good house guests? <laughs> no, they are terrible house guests. Although uh, notably, you, you, rid of them. you have done more damage to this basement than they have. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> no, it was all the rats, dude. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I can't believe the rats. It was like it. Her it was like that when we got. <laughs> yeah, right. Who would do that? How do they even get matches? Doesn't make well. any sense. You'll all never right, find so... me later. <laughs> Eli, um, this one's coming at you. Come at me, son. That's gonna miss. Come at me, and son. And then these next three are gonna come at uh, Parker. The various Parker. Parkers. Yo, they got a crit. All right. Oh, God. So, um, touche. This Fuck one's you. just gone. Touche, Rats. Touche. Um, does a thirteen hit your AC? No. Okay, then the other two miss. Okay. Um, it is now Cog's turn. Before we move on, can everybody roll a quick perception check for me? Sure. Uh, Ooh. Wait. wait. All right. Do you mean perception or or like like what do you what? I, the I skill perception. perception. Okay, as opposed to like the invest. Uh, uh, right, because investigation is when you're uh, like trying to find something. Well, I guess like what is everyone's passive perception? Uh, I don't know. Uh, ten like perception. Plus, it is ten plus your perception skill. Is zero. Ten. Well, uh, perception. Ten. Yeah. Ten oh. plus. So like I have fifteen wisdom. I don't know what. No, what what is your perception bonus? Like, do you remember how to do the modifiers? Um, you it is with the modifier, right? Yeah. And then, oh wait, I trained it. Okay, well then that means you have another plus two. Okay. And you don't you don't have your proficiency, right? Yeah, you do. Proficiency oh, is what what training it means. Oh, we're, oh okay, I see. All right, yeah. cool. So then I get a plus two. So my passive perception is twelve. Uh, sure. All right, Fred. Right. What's yours? Um. So is that a d twenty plus my it's, modifier? It's ten plus your wisdom modifier plus. Generally, your yes. But right now oh, it's okay. ten because of the passive perception. Yeah. Okay. So. It's 10. Twelve. Twelve. So. Okay. Um. So anyone who rolled a twelve or above, um, you hear some like major kerfuffle going on outside but it's kind of hard to differentiate from what's going on in here so you're not really sure anything's going on as compared to just like exploding rats was that something no nah, i don't worry about it yeah, probably not <laughs> it's probably um, just combusting rats, <laughs> rats um, so, roasting so, on so now that fire. you're aware of it during your own turn you can choose to make an actual perception check but like that's just you, 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 there's in the back of your head, there might be something going on. Um, Cog, you go. All right, do I know about the no? Sound? You do not, you're entirely oblivious. Great, I tell Ratata over here to mess up those rats. All right, Ratata's gonna go try to fight the rats. <coughs> so, does roll 1d20 plus? Six. I got it. Okay, nice. he crit. He's oh. just going to like go tearing rats. Oh yeah, he, he he just like straight up kills like half the pile of rats. 
All right, but you still get an action of your own. Oh, I also get an action of my own? Yeah, oh, someone's geez. a crazy action economy. Oh, you've ruined the entire action economy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the top card of my deck is the card Channel. Okay, can you read that off real quick? Until the end of my turn, until the end of the turn, anytime I could activate a mana ability, I, I may pay one <laughs> life. If I do, I add one mana to my mana pool. I don't know what that means. Next okay, card so here, here's what that means. How much health do you have? I have 20. Okay, so let's say for you can pay increments of... 3 HP. And mm, I can't channel my tool, okay. And, and for each of them, you can flip up the top card or add it to your hand, but you can't look at it before deciding which one it is. Oh. So deal. you can either draw a card or flip it for increments of 3 life. Oh, uh, okay. How much damage so do rats do? Have a black spell? <laughs> no one's been hit by the rats, so we don't know. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, do I go down to zero? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. 20 oh, doesn't divide by 3. I can go, to, I can go down to 1-ish. <laughs> I don't know. Two, you can go down to two. 2 and cast 6 spells. Mmm. Mmm. Must. I'll, I'll pay. I'll pay 9. <laughs> Alright, are you drawing or, or casting or some combination? Uh, I'll, I'll just cast off these spells. Alright, what's the next one then? Uh, mind over matter. Cause I was just oh, no. <laughs> you, 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 actually, you actually could probably do them one at a time. Oh, okay. All right, mind, o mind over matter. Um, is until the end of the um, until the end of the encounter, you are telepathic. Great. Okay. Um, what was the next one? Break go from the Zatch Bell card game. <laughs> oh wait, what? Okay, hold on. Can you hold him up? Oh yeah, he's a uh, he's he's is this guy over here? What Do you get fuck? a doll? I I guess. Hold on. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's cool. I don't know what he does. He says. When this Momoto card sacrifices or protects your spellbook against attack of one, he doesn't take any damage. Whoa! Play, play the game rules, man. So you get, you get a substitute. I get a substitute. Sure. Also a puppet that can like fight for me. There you go. You've got a puppet. He's pretty spooky. Good, good picture. Wow, you're uh, summoning the shit out of people, dude. <laughs> yeah, the, character, the character technically is a summoner, I guess. Yeah. I guess the best way to put it. And then I, put, I cast the Hornet Sting. Yeah, nice. <laughs> that's the way they're showing off in the camera. I who are you? It's upside down. But um, who are you hornet stinging? The, the rats next to me. The rats next to you. All right, they take one damage. Yes. <laughs> Bees, we put, man. We have to put some bad cards in there. Bees. My God. A single hornet My flies God. over and kills a rat. <laughs> Not the bees. Devastating. The rat doesn't right. even die immediately. <laughs> um, Brago will go on your next turn. He has something uh, sickness. The, 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 the Rattata. He has so oh, he already won. Rattata oh, murdered like half the rats. Okay. Yeah. All right, Throck, you go. By the way, I see we have a few a uh, few more viewers than we did before. So welcome to the stream. We, um, this is. Uh, what? <laughs> Uh, this is the Extra Life Goon Platoon uh, Marathon stream for charity. We started about an hour and a half ago, and we're going to be going up until... 10 a.m. tomorrow. An hour Eastern, from now tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. So check in whenever you want. Um, if any of you want to uh, donate to force us to do strange things, uh, just go to... possibility. Um... Wow, I, depending on how you got here, there probably should have been a link to Extra Life. Uh, look around on the stream to see yeah, if there is a, a link. There's not, because the stream is terrible. Stream over. All right, hold on. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put that link on the stream real quick. God bless. Um, so everyone can get it while Shouldn't, the stream guy is... Oh, wait, okay. There should be a button, says Stream Overlord Tom. Can anyone in the chat confirm there is a button? There's no buttons, dude. No? There All right, no there's button. currently currently not a button. All right, that is unfortunate. We'll take care of that in the next break, which should be pretty soon, actually. Oh, wait, hang on. No, yeah, there's no button. It just yeah. says click the link, and there's no link. Yeah, hold on. How could you betray me like this, Nick? 
Uh, it's all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never been lied to on something like this before. The and there's no link. Never been lied to by a uh, channel description before. This is the worst. Never ever. How could the you internet train? has never let me down like this. Yeah. You can't lie on the internet. Yeah. It's illegal. Like Don't they have laws yeah, against that? <laughs> My uncle and Nintendo told me. Before. Right, well, <laughs> never ever. There we go. I just posted the it in the chat. Never let me down <laughs> or I guess from your perspective, I just <laughs> I posted it 20 it's seconds ago. Like Don't they have laws against oh, that? Oh wait, shit. No, I didn't. <laughs> God damn it. It's okay. Just um. <laughs> all right. There we go. In the chat. Okay. Yeah, so... My whole life is just inundated with uh, WWE right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so about 20 seconds ago, I put it in the chat. So you'll see it there. God bless. All right, uh, and... Do I have like, a random, just... random chat asker? Uh, 3D Scorpions? Uh, I'm a lizard man. Uh, uh, Parker, or to I guess Token Black Eyes, he's listed uh, on the screen, is a half orc wrestler. Uh, Fred Ooh, is yeah. a coral golem. And uh, Eli, Eli, are you an I'm, I'm a ballerina chef, too. Oh, I'm a gnome. Oh, he's a gnome. He's the king of games. That's it will eventually come up that I'll be exactly the same. <laughs> okay. Are you a kobold? <laughs> are, you, are you a kobold? <laughs> yeah, all right. So, All right. So, um, Rock, what were you up to? Uh, nothing. You gotta slam these uh the rats. I got I got more r rats to kill. Yeah. Gotta and, body uh, slam some rats. Ugh. I'm uh I'm gonna hit him with my warhammer of justice. Warhammer of oh, justice. Because you know this is the I attitude can. era. We're allowed to bring in weapons. This is raw. Sunday night SmackDown. In s suspicious old lady's basement. All right. So I'm still skeptical of this old lady. I just I want that on the record. Was, Stream Overlord was, Tom has just told me that there's a button showing up. So if everyone could refresh the page, it should be there. Hey, look. Um, a button. All right. Cool. Glad it's working. Stream Overlord Tom. My boy. All right, sweet. Let's move back on. Go ahead. Right. What were you doing, Parker? Uh, rolling to hit with the sledgehammer. Nice. So now that is out. just barely enough, actually. Oh my three, god! Three it's not hard to hit a pile of rats. <laughs> I mean, sure, but I figured they It'd were. Hard. These are some jobber rats. I'm not gonna lie. You clotheslining the rats? No, just sledgehammering them. Oh. It's like whack-a-mole, but better. With rats. With a lot of rats. damage? And there's no holes. Uh, they can't hide. Wow, you don't want 10. Wow, these rats are really, like... They're, they're level 1 rats. We're, we're like they're actually CR 1 quarter rats. It's going good, Mom. <laughs> Tell your mom I say hi. The group says hi, by the way. <laughs> all right that is nine damage it's nice to see the chat active all right cool that is actually enough to kill this set of rats Boom. <laughs> chump rats all right what about other uh, uh, other um other throck i guess <laughs> double throck all throck all the time Rock all again. the time. When this uh, oh, roll a d oh, wait, no. I got to roll to hit. Uh, Parker, next time you get a critical, you got to, like, somehow spawn a cage match. <laughs> I was thinking, if I spawned a critical, it would just um, automatically turn into, like, that Mick Foley <laughs> Hell in a Cell fight where I just power bomb the guy <laughs> through the metal cage. <laughs> 
like like off the metal cage through a table and just like oh so he's dead like oh you killed Mick Foley on national TV okay that's cool that's cool this is fake at all <laughs> that, <laughs> that won't traumatize children for generations at all like he's that's why he can't <laughs> wrestle anymore yeah that was not good for him. You literally was, ended a man's career. I was, like, I was like, oh, how big is that cage? 30 feet? That seems like a bad idea, Vince. <laughs> but I'll nice. have his cushion. Oh, my God. Yo, all right. Yeah, th those rats are also toast. Whew. Yeah, no. All rats right, Maz. come into my ring. They, they think they're going to um, get away? Well, Maz Can I... Give the the lizard wizard another turn. Can yes. We, can we establish you want, that? You want to me? You can yes. Do that. Roll. Um. Let's say perform. And if you get a twelve or above, he can take a second action at your next turn. Wait. What? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So so one d twenty plus charisma plus performance. Okay. Well, it's performance should be charisma, so it'll be plus two. It'll, it'll okay. be your charisma plus two because you're proficient. Right. All right, that's high enough. Drew, you are inspired by his beautiful dancing and get um, two actions next turn. I'm, that's, I'm also going to be here. That's incredible. I mean, <laughs> wow. I've never, I've never seen a dance more magnificent. Bravo. All right, Lizard Wizard, your go. It's also <laughs> the best because I'm a giant rock. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, my, my iguana, you can't, you can't tell, but J Jasper is all, all, like, he's clapping in his own lizard way. Um, as much as a, as much as an iguana who's just kind of sitting there and like lazily like looking at you, it's, it could flap, nice. but it, it works. Um, All right, it makes like a weird sound. All right, Let's see if you can take a home. All right, this one's for my buddy Three Scorpions out in the chat. Uh, <laughs> who apparently thinks I'm awesome. All right, oh, I mean so, you're a lizard wizard. I, yeah, lizard awesome. Um, who still can currently magnetize wood? Uh, so I believe <laughs> this whole I'm encounter. Consuming a rat. Uh, yep. All right, this is good stuff. All right, so the rats are still in the boxes. Yeah, they're they're right, fighting I'm, the I'm boxes. Gonna, like, they think they're living there, I guess. <laughs> they're still yeah, no. <laughs> they're they're going right. to die misguided and confused. Deconstructing um, this poor woman's basement. <laughs> 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 well, it's either that or I shoot a blast of fire in there, and nobody. Will, I think I think at least that. if some, that might be worse. That's right. The boxes <laughs> is maintained. I think that I think she'll accept that. Um, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna crush these rats. I hold Jasper up in the air. I, sh I I shake him a little bit left and right, and the boxes shake with him. Uh, they <laughs> shake, shake, shake. They shake, converge. Shake, shake. They converge on the rats. Shake your booty. Um, shake your booty. I roll. Oop. There we go. I just typed "I'm a lizard wizard" into the into the roll twenty instead of the one d twenty because I thought I had kept that. Copy pasted. Okay, there we go. So um, <laughs> <laughs> roll one d twenty. Okay, it's five. Stick. And then roll two d eight. The rats take ten damage. All right, the rats are a fine uh, red pulp. <laughs> oh, rats. Fine red powder. <laughs> All over whatever was in those boxes. <laughs> All right. So, what do you want to do with your second action? Oh, I got a second action. Oh, well, this is this is too much. Uh, All right. So and... much free time now. <laughs> okay. Um. There's these rats. There's these, all right. So there's there's two rat clouds left. Yes, there are two rat clouds left. Okay. Um. 15. So I feel super inspired. Um. To motion and. Uh, I make just for you, lizard. By uh, by my by my good friend Maz, uh, and so I I have to you know I'm feeling like vi I'm like infused with vigor, so I'm gonna charge into battle. Nice. Um, um, for the record, chat, this is technically fifth edition, but I am essentially just playing it loose and fast, letting anybody do things for the sake of fun and interestingness. For example, if we played it by the exact rules, there's no possible way we could have a WWE wrestler, a lizard wizard, and a ballerina chef coral golem, and I feel like that just makes for better TV. <laughs> we right. it now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move over to attack these rats because I can move through ally spaces, right? Yeah, no, we're good. 
Um, and I'm going to cast uh, the... Yeah, let me just sneak by right here. <laughs> um, the We added it to my uh, cantrip list because it was hilarious. Uh, I'm going to cast Shillelagh. <laughs> All right. I'm uh, imagining like what happens. happens. So... Uh, when I cast Shalila, I'm I'm I I run in uh, with uh, with uh, with Jasper in tow. Jasper becomes a lizard club. Lizard Become, club becomes this, it. becomes this rigid like weapon. I think uh, he's the president of the lizard club. And <laughs> can't you see my official uh, my official lizard club hat? Um, Absolutely. Actually, I, guess a, I guess that's a wizard club hat. Um, but all right, so I char- so I charge in wielding. Uh, Jasper is a club, and because of the magic, he is he is a hardened weapon, and he is the club. Uh, he is the club. And uh, I get to use my intelligence stat um, instead of strength when I make attacks and damage rolls, which is really neat. Um, so I'm going to make a uh, melee attack with my lizard club. Um, so I roll d20 plus uh, intelligence plus proficiency, right? Um, to hit with a club? No, that's strength plus proficiency. No, no, no. I, because, because of Shillelagh, I can use intelligence. Oh, you're totally right. For the duration, yeah. you can use your spellcasting ability instead of strength. Okay. So, All right. I, nice. So, <laughs> so it's basically just a spell cast with, with, with as a melee attack. I'm um, imagining bound weapons from Elder Scrolls. <laughs> um, so, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna, those things were dope. Yeah, I'm going to let this slide cool. for now because it's fun. But generally, the way that's supposed to work is you spend an action turning it into the club, oh. and then for that point, until the re- for the rest of the encounter, you can use it like a club. Okay, I will. But it's fine for this because I don't really care. Go ahead. I'll so do that, I'll do that the next time. And, and then it's then entertaining. Nice dancing. Um. All right. Really inspire. Uh, I'm gonna roll a ten to hit with the lizard. That is exactly enough to hit. All right. The lizard <laughs> slams into the weird <laughs> noises. Uh, <laughs> You're just swinging it through the air. <laughs> uh, and I deal 1d8 damage. 1d8. Um, so I do plus intelligence, plus proficiency. So just, or do I add proficiency to damage? Or no? No, no proficiency for okay, damage. So then I just add intelligence. So 1d8 yeah. plus 3. That's all damage. I deal 10 damage. Nice. These rats are also dead. Woo! All right. King of Games, bring us home. We're lizard clubbing tonight, boys. Uh, just mess up the rats, guys. <laughs> All right. Has anyone in the chat seen Zatch Bell? Does anyone know what Brago is supposed to do? He shoots shadow. <laughs> like he has like a shadow power. Was it shadow or gravity? It might be gravity. I feel like it was gravity. Does anyone in the chat know? I don't Hold on. I'm, I'm just gonna wait the twenty seconds to see if anybody knows if uh what is going on in Zatch Bell. Why don't you just Google it? I got it. Because I don't care, and I try not to open extra tabs. Fair enough. It's a good reason. <laughs> doll thing. Good to know that it is a doll. <laughs> All right. Really contributing to the conversation. Oh man. What is the verdict, Drew? <laughs> uh, he's really strong. He often doesn't even need to use his spell powers. His power is gravity. Gravity. All right. Cool. Oh, that's he's amazing. Gravity. So you can you have wood magnetism and gravity dolls <laughs> and telepathy. Uh, he's Very gonna try to essentially squish the um, swarm of rats, just like hover them up and just squish them together. Because individually, the rats aren't very strong. Uh, so let, let's make a. Yeah, could you make a spell attack for me, Eli? Oh, oh man, I have to roll. This is stupid. Yeah. I <laughs> also Nick apparently Shalali is a bonus action. Is it really? Oh, yeah. all right. Well, well, then you didn't cheat. Good job. <laughs> Need a break. Thanks, Kavonicus. I guess Kavonicus really knows what's going on here. Yeah, man, the chat's on my side. <laughs> nice. All right, yeah, that's enough. Um, the uh, Rattata is also kind of caught up in it and is attacking, but most of the rats are uh, kind of squished into a really gross, sloppy ball. Ew. <laughs> Right. All right. It's like Vlad's little ball of blood that he has in League of Legends. Okay, so that is um, the end of that encounter. <laughs> <laughs> now we raid the place. Um, <laughs> but before you have uh, the chance to like go up or claim your reward or any of that type of stuff, um, this corner of the house 
uh, collapses. Oh. And uh, wait, are you we realize that is it underground? Yeah, yeah. So it, it's oh. essentially <laughs> a, a slope up. You know, that's conveniently sloped to the surface. Uh oh. <laughs> and you can hear the sound of just explosions and running about and general, you know, the town is under attack sounds. Mm. Now I'm going to take um we have a ten minute break about now. So I'm going to just run off to like get a few things done. Um Tom, are you here? And if so, could you just tap in? I don't know if he's listening to this directly or the stream. The Overlord hasn't graced us with his presence. I think he's here. We are yeah. without him. Is it snapshot sound? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So There we go. All right, cool. I'm going to tap out. If you could run an interview with whoever here wants to give a summary of uh, what, what's been happening th thus far in the campaign, that'd be great. Sure. Uh, who All right, cool. So any of you who want to go take... Anyone who wants to take a break, do that. But if you don't want to, I gotta eat Tom's breakfast. Here. I need okay. coffee. All right. So go do that. Be back. Go into Fred right now. Same be here. back in ten minutes, though. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, pa Parker, are you good to do an interview with Tom? Uh, yeah, sure. Just quick question: What level are we supposed to be on? Three. Four. Four. Three? No, we're supposed to be three. Oh, hold on. We started three. We got to four. You are totally right. It is three. I am just checking. Okay. There. I am keeping track. Because I, all right, I yeah. just fixed my character. All right. We're good. All right. Sweet. Okay. I'll be right back. See you in like eight minutes or so. Dope. Nope.